Welcome to RPA. In this video, we'll discuss about how to use Outlook in Microsoft Power Automate in desktop versions. Whenever we are working with the Outlook structure or Outlook email messenger, generally it's required to work with complex process like sending the email, receiving the email, extraction of details. So these all are the use cases which we are regularly using within our Microsoft Power Automate using Outlook. Generally, when we are working with this type of scenario, we, we are facing with different structure or complexity. So I will help you with this, how we can use it efficiently Outlook within our Power Automate automation. Please be available from start to end of this video. <music> to create a flow, we are just using click on new flow and here you will get this options. Because we, we are using Outlook, so I will just rename it as Outlook. Automation. Click on create and here you will have this option available. It will take few seconds to load the scenario because we are using in desktop version. Similarly, I will also create one more video for cloud version as well. So here, if you want to use Outlook, you will have these activities available. I will explain you how we can utilize or use within the Power Automate. So first, we have to launch Outlook. So whenever we are launching the Outlook, it will create an Outlook instance. So as of now, I am keeping the save variable. Click on save and let's say we want to retrieve email messages. So whenever we want to retrieve email messages, we have to define the account as well as mail folder. So I will explain you all those components where we can use it and which all informations we are looking for forward to store. So let's say we we are using some email account. Reach at login. This is my email ID. Let's consider I'm using this email ID and folder. So whenever we are launching any Outlook messages we have this folder structure so let me call the informations from inbox so i'm just writing inbox here and here to retrieve messages we have different options if you want to just read all email messages it will fetch all the email messages uh, and generate the report if you want to just uh, fetch the detail or retrieve information from unread email. So which is email you have not touched or you have not read, these email data will be fetched. After that, we have third options that is retrieving the detail from the read email messages. So these three options are available. And whenever you have done with this, either you can select mark as read as well as unread. You can also see if you not select, it will keep as unread. Whatever status will be there in the email, that will contain same. So here, let's consider we want to go ahead with this all email message. Uh, as of now, I'm not doing anything. Maybe we can keep default from. So let's say we, we are targeting just one email ID. So here, let's consider we have just one email ID. Maybe I'll use any of the email ID. Let me take out this one. I'm just copying this and pasting it to here. So whenever my bot will trigger or run this automations, whichever details we have from contains, it will extract the detail from here to so if, if you want to add some more conditions or if you want to add the filter type as subject name, we can also create a variable body contains if you want to extract this detail from the body contains or if you want to see the attachments so you, you also have to do, uh, do not save attachments and we have the options to save the attachment as well in the variable produce is it is it will save all those informations such as extracted here and retrieved in the emails so this is my variable just click on save 
let's see i just wanted to populate on display message box so within the display message box i don't want too much thing here i will just simply select retrieve emails whenever we are selecting the retrieve email in power automate we have multiple options are available here either we can showcase the count which is memory value or if you want to showcase the complete email that is also fine matches box icon if if you want to see none informations questions warning error these are the icon we can select it message box button we have okay but if if you want to change it to anything else we can also do it now again i will save this and run this code to just see the output of retrieve email message box from the outlet after that we will deal with all the activity as well from the output now these are the email messages which we have received and it's extracted successfully as of now we have not defined any filters so let's say new on board we we just wanted to showcase new on board so whichever email contains new on board that information will be displayed here so let me modify the score and instead of subject contains whatever subject we have new on board then probably that message will be retrieved now you can see this email message is retrieved and here we have this detail available on message box so this is how we can retrieve email message from the outlook after that let's say we have some other activity send email messages we can also send an email messages via using this for sending an email message we need these details first is account so here uh, account that is send email message from the account next is to whom do i need to send an email subjects body and if we want to do any attachments we have to just attach this field and send out an email so let's see how we can perform it maybe i will drag and drop here account i will use same account even we can add as a variable let's create one variable with this account maybe i will just add variable name i am keeping here as email id perfect so here i did not define anything default value will be this and now send. send email messages within the send email message i will specify same email id two i want to say in again to the same person so i will select same email id cc and bcc i don't want to keep so i will just add this is automated email whenever we will add this whenever automated email the subjects then it will contain an automated email subject and here in the body sections i will just add body if we want to do any attachment simply i will select here in the download folder and from the download maybe i will do some attachments so not sure here in the downloads let me i actually i'm selecting for the folder let me select for the file so here let me send out this image now we are done let me save it even if you want to add as a body as html we can also do it on an error if there will be any error will thrown so we can also add new rule so uh, that we will discuss in further videos or further part of the uh, sessions so here i just created sorry maybe we'll add email id account exactly same select here to and everything i will not define anything so this is my subject and this contains my body here we have the options two options that will select the file as well as folder so i'm just attaching this image and once it is done 
thus email will be published within our outlook account let me run it again now here we have this message and it will send out email and that's completed so let's refresh uh, this outlook account let me resync it and see if this email is available or not now you can see this email is populated here so it means this activity is working fine with the attachments you have to and from as well as message body we also have this attachment available now in next activity let's here we have save outlook if you want to save any of the messages which is arrived here we can save it again we'll select the save email id and the message to save we we wanted to save any of the message let's consider we want to save this message received email and where you want to save save email message to specify any particular folder where we can save this message so here let let me select any of the options now once this message will be stored we will have this variable generated and this variable we can also modify but as of now i'm keeping as default and this message will be completed then we have this options available let's save it now we can also add close outlook activity once this process will be completed it will automatically close our outlook account so here let me run this flow now we can see this first activity executed so here we did not found any folder so no folder is available but here we have specified the folder name as outlook so this folder and we are done let's run it again and then we'll see the result okay message mail is also sent and once this will be saved the outlook email message will be deleted or closed so i will just launch outlook here we have a uh, message in our outlook we can see these three emails are triggered and it is showing for the pop-up so when whenever we have not assigned any permissions to close or kill these applications it will showcase the pop-up for automation perspective we have to disable the microsoft outlook options from the options we can disable from the trust center and run center settings we have to this provide the access from the programmatic access once the access will be granted whenever we will perform any operations this will take over through code let's see our final output have we saved this outlook messages yes we have saved this outlook messages so this is all about outlook we have two more activities available process email message as well as respond email message that will cover in next part of video that's all from this video hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching